I'm Chris Narbonesa, uh, one of the directors of Ferro Eleganza, and we really do structural steel fabrication and also the erection of that structural steel on site. The Kame structure is a, is a curved building. Um, we might have noticed them across the, the highway from the, the OR Tambo host, uh, airport. And it's a curved building that houses the simulators that Com Air uses to, to uh, train the pilots. So it's a lattice structure made from uh, circular hollow section pipes rolled in about four different radiuses to create that, that shape. And um, a lot of the building on the inside is closed to ceilings due to the client requirements for, for sound and things like that. So where the structural steel goes behind the ceilings and it's closed up, the truss has changed to normal hot rolled sections, angles, uh, uh, different angle sections. And they're also not curved, they're not rolled, they're actually sectioned. So that helped to save the client uh, uh, costs in fabrication and in material. And then whenever the steel comes out of the ceilings and it becomes exposed again, then it goes back to the, the rolled circular hollow sections. This building is, uh, there's four of those simulator buildings, of which we did the, the last three. Um, this is the largest one of them all, and it houses two simulators uh, on, the, on the open ends, on the gable ends, and it, it houses another two static simulators inside, and it has their classroom. So because of these new requirements, the building is, is the biggest of the, of the four. The other difference is the link between the two buildings is a, is, is a large one. And uh, that also uh, was quite a, a feat to be able to do these links. The link tunnels are also rolled circular hollow sections, but they're much smaller, really giving you the feeling of, a, of the airplane's uh, tail. Firstly, the challenge of the fabrication of the steelwork was a challenge in itself in the sense that we had to make sure that the structure was built neatly and uh, accurately. Obviously, with exposed steel, you want it to look the best that it can. But I think our biggest challenge was really in the erecting of the structural steel. Um, these, these big curved trusses were fabricated in four different sections for transport and handling purposes. So after they were spliced uh, on the ground, we had to hoist this whole uh, truss up with a crane. And it only really bolted on two pins on the two uh, bottom points on the concrete bases. So once we had that up and held it with a crane, with an additional crane, we had to hoist the second uh, truss up and then stay it with purlins or, and, the, and the roof bracing to make sure that the structure can stand on its own. The, the further challenge that we have with those two pins is really aligning this whole tunnel up, uh, this whole tunnel building, that the, the, the side cladding and the, on the apex all follow the same line so that the when the sheeting is on the building, we have that tunnel effect that it gives. So aligning it with those two pins and making sure that the whole building fits uh, was quite a challenge. With the sheeting, the sheeting onto the building, the cladding, was quite a challenge for the sheeting contractor. And them and, and, and ourselves had to work quite closely together to make sure that the cranking of their sheeting and it fitting on our steel, that it all lines up. And, uh, and gives that, that beautiful effect at the end. But we're glad to say that we did successfully achieve that. Reading the architect's comments, and uh, it really would only have been able to be done with steel. There is no other building material that you could create this, this effect of this, this curved building. The, the space that it has, uh, the gable ends are, are, are glass facades with steel supporting the glass, allowing all the natural light in and uh, really allow, uh, opening that whole area up for the simulators to be able to move freely in there. You could only really do this with steel and giving the building the desired effect that it looks like the, like the shape of an aeroplane. The fact that those, those, those exposed gable trusses are done out of the tubular structure gives it that that's, uh, a space frame look that they wanted. And uh, that can only be done with, uh, with a tubing. Uh, the facades are also um, made out of rectangular hollow sections with, the, with, with fabricated plate fins, shaped fins, and the, the rectangular hollow sections in between. And uh, yeah, so it really gives it that architectural look that the client was after.